Hey, good evening guys. I was just testing this compound here and I thought it was pretty interesting so I'd show you guys. This is right here in my hand if you can see it. That is what copper 2 azide looks like. And I'm really liking this stuff so far. So I got a can set up there. You see the little divot in the can? I put that there specifically so that I could just hold a piece of this right there for you guys. This stuff is pretty freaking impressive. I just wanted to show you how much I'm using, if I can get this on camera. Right there, on the very tip. Uh, it's not showing up. Damn it. This is like nothing of a piece. So you can see it there anyhow. Just the tip of a knife worth of this stuff. And let's try a flame test on this. Yeah, it's pretty nice stuff. You can see, if you see through the can, damn it, why is it not showing through the can? Turn off torch. There you can sort of see. There it is, right there. Focus. You can see all those little holes that little tiny bit of it poked in the back of the can. I mean, that's a nice little hole just for an unconfined test. I mean, that was unconfined. This stuff is pretty, pretty brisant. I'm gonna go by, I'm gonna get another little, just a little piece of this to try. See how this does under friction now. So it takes a good little bit to get it to detonate with friction. I'm gonna try that again, see if I can get a cleaner test. So it takes a decent little whack with a hammer to detonate it, but it sure does like to detonate. Let's try that again with another piece, third time's the charm here. Okay, here we go, repeated hammer test. So that time I swung, uh, this is a 22 ounce hammer I'm using, and that time I swung a little bit actually, I was just kind of dropping the hammer before. This time I actually did use a little bit of force. So, as far as shock sensitivity goes, this stuff does explode, definitely. It will detonate. Um, it's not It's not that bad, though. I mean, it's a little bit more sensitive, I think, than the strong TMA side.
Wow. Okay. Yeah, this stuff is way more, like, confined. I think this stuff is more present than the strontium azide for sure. That little amount right there, and I was honestly too afraid to even try to weigh it, even though I know it's not all that shock sensitive. I just didn't want to mess with it more than I had to in doing this first confined test here. But anyhow, you can see, I mean, it, oh, the point I was making was, is I believe when I tested the strontium, I was doing it on like 200 milligram at least scale. This was like in the micrograms. I mean, I literally, this stuff, uh, when it dried, it dried into kind of like a flake uh, crust that I had to just very delicately um, try to break into little pieces. That was fun. But this was like two little tiny flakes that wouldn't even equal the thickness and um, area of a pinky fingernail. And you can see what this did confine. So, carbon 2 azide, man, this stuff, I don't know if I like it. I mean, I do because it's not so shock sensitive. That's great.